Breaking news guys, HTC just announced a new XR headset. It's called Vive Focus Vision and this is a standalone NPC VR headset that you can connect lossless via DisplayPort. Very interesting. I will tell you everything you need to know. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Thank you to my sponsors, Voodoo's VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape Area 1 and Virtual Ray Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and before we start, let's check out the trailer. Look at this, this is the trailer. Nice, Look, looks pretty nice, right? We have mixed reality cameras, pretty huge lenses, as it seems. This is uh, like eye tracking, infrared floodlight, hand tracking. It looks pretty nice, right? The controllers, cooler fan, head strap, Vive Focus Vision. <laughs> Vive Focus Vision. Yeah, and now let's check out the pictures. So this is something from uh, yeah the, the XR2 Snapdragon. This is a view from the top. Yeah, we can see some stuff here. Here's the audio jack. We have the cooler here. We have the top strap, the wheel. Yeah. Here we can see there's a USB slot. We have audio jack. Yeah, here's the head strap, sound slots. Yeah, here's, I, can, I think we can see it here. Yeah. Um, here is a button for the battery. You can see the battery life and so on. Here's an eject button for the battery. We will see it later how it looks. Look at this picture here. Yeah? Can you see it? Yeah, these are Fresnel lenses. This has advantages and disadvantages. We will talk about this later. Yeah, here you can also see some stuff. Here are the uh, cameras for eye tracking. You also can see the eject button. Proximity sensor is here. You can also see the sound slot. Here you can see the volume button. Yeah, the, also the slots here for the sound. The other side. Here's the back. Looks, looks comfortable or what do you think? Here are also the sound slots. The front. Yeah. Um, so here's the cooler slot. I think this is an LED or something. We have one, two, three, four tracking cameras and two um, pass-through cameras and also two uh, eye tracking cameras. I'm not sure if this is the depth sensor and the flood. There's an infrared floodlight. We'll talk about this later. I'm not sure what that is. One of those <laughs> or, or both. And here under this cover, there's a USB-C slot. You can see the front view here. This is how it looks from the inside, Wh whatever. <laughs> also the front. Here you go. And here you can see, oh wait, here you can see the, um, the back and behind that back you can snap it out with the button, with the eject button and there's the battery, yeah? It's behind the back strap. The battery you can hot swap it even yeah you have 20 minutes uh, left in the battery and then you need the new battery and this is the controllers you can see the controllers are uh, like pretty old school with the rings normally we don't have the rings like with the um yeah quest uh, three controllers but uh, those have the rings i mean to be honest i i never had any problems with those rings so it's not a problem for me we will see yeah and let's now check the technical specifications. So here we have a resolution of 2448, two times yeah, per eye. And this is pretty high. I would say it's between Quest 3 and like Pimax Crystal Light. So it's between medium and high end. So the, the, the resolution is pretty good, I would say. Then we have 90 Hertz and even later this year we have a display port mode with up to 120 hertz. This is cool, yeah? So the display port is directly connected to your graphics card and it's lossless PC VR quality. This 
is very cool because not many headsets, not many standalone headsets have this. Yeah, I think the last one was the Pico 3 Neo Link or so. Yeah, the field of view. So we have Fresnel lenses. This has a disadvantage that we have some God ray effects. Perhaps we will see. We will see. But the advantage is that we can have a higher field of view. So they say up to 120 degrees. No idea what they mean, like horizontal, vertical, or uh, diagonal, I don't know. I have to try it, but it seems that it's bigger than normal. So I don't like Fresnel lenses, to be honest, because of the God rays, but I love big field of view. So if they really have a big field of view, then I would accept the God ray effects. That's because I'm a big fan of huge field of view, yeah. We have dual microphone, we have a dual driver for speaker design, we have a privacy mode, we have the audio jack, we have volume buttons, the Qualcomm, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 is included, we have 12 gigabyte RAM like the Pico uh, 4 Ultra, we have 128 gigabyte storage, but we can extend it up to two terabyte with USB uh, with micro SD card. Then we have two USB-C, one uh, under this cover and one on the right side. We have Bluetooth 5.2, we have Wi-Fi 6E, then the tracking cameras, the eye tracking cameras and the pass-through cameras. And the pass-through cameras are in 3D with depth sensing. Yeah, So we have uh, yeah, like stereosco stereoscopic pass-through. And we have an infrared floodlight. Yeah? So it's really cool. If you have very bad light or even fully darkness, the room is flooded with infrared light and then we, we can still use it. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. We have eye tracking with uh, automatic IPD, so a motor will use that. And this is very good for, like, for example, when many people use it, for example, in a VR arcade. So uh, HTC told me this time it's focused on uh, enterprise and gamers. So both, so they will have like industrial training and enterprise stuff, but also gaming stuff because it's fo focused on the Vive Focus 3, <laughs> yeah? So that's really cool. Then we have some weight balance uh, stuff that they say here, magnetically front gasket, yeah? Also for people wearing glasses. Um, the IPD is from 57 to 72. Yeah, quick release head strap and so on. The battery life is up to two hours, but you can hot swap it. So you can just buy like three batteries or so and swap them without having to shut down the headset or switch it off. A 30 watt adapter is included and so on. We have inside out tracking with the cameras and the play space is up to 10 by 10 meters. That's pretty cool, yeah? So, yeah, I have some more information that I ask HTC for you. Then we have a pre-order package. This is uh, available from now until October 17th, 2024. And when you order it inside this range, you will get the, the Wife streaming kit, the, wi the, the wired streaming kit for free and also three packages. Uh, you can decide between three packages uh, of games. I think one is like for uh, adults and one for kids and whatever, yeah? So this is included because, let's talk about the price. The price of the headset including the controllers is 999 US dollars. And in Euro it's 1199 Euro, yeah? And in this price when you pre-order it, you will have the streaming kit for free. Normally it will be 149 US dollars or 189 euro. Yeah, so this is uh, the thing. When you consider to buy the Vive Focus Vision, you should definitely do it in the pre-order phase because then you get this display port stuff. And also um, it's compatible with the uh, ultra trackers with the cameras. Yeah, so the full body tracking will likely be as easy and uh, or even better than the Pico 4 Ultra. That's really cool. So, yeah, I mean, the price is high. Let's be honest. It's, it's pretty high. It's higher than the uh, Pico 4 Ultra, but and also, of course, of the uh, Quest 3. But we have a higher, definitely higher resolution, guys. We have a higher resolution and we have lossless PC VR connectivity. So we can use all the um, standalone stuff in the 
I think it's the Vive Pod Store. Yeah, the Vive Pod Store is pretty good. There are a lot of good games. Yeah, it's not as huge and good as the Horizon Store from Meta, but it's it's getting better and better. Yeah, and 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 we can this we can use the standalone and also the PC VR lossless. Yeah, so it will be cool for people that perhaps want to uh, play it. Uh, yeah, when they travel, uh, bring it to friends and also at home use like racing simulators or flight simulators or any simulators with lossless quality uh, with a cable or even Half-Life Alyx with lossless quality and so on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Also, the infrared floodlight is cool when you have very low light at home or even no light. You can flood the room with infrared and then you can still use it. Yeah. Aut automatic IPD adjustment will be very good for VR arcades and also the hot swappable battery and so on. So it could be interesting for different people, yeah? Um, I mean, yeah, I have to try it for myself. Uh, HTC promised me that I will get a review unit, yeah? No idea, I hope it will be inside the pre-order range so we can wait for my review. Um, and I will definitely check it out very detailed. Um, it's not, it's not uh, very uninteresting. It's, it's a, it's interesting. Yeah, let's be honest, <laughs> because I mean, display port is cool. Yeah, and also the, the perhaps big field of view. Yeah, could be also cool. We will see. We will see. So, guys, I will try to put everything in the description and in the first uh, pinned comment. And make sure to check it out. Perhaps I, I got some wrong information about any detail or so. Then I have to correct it inside the um, description and in the first pinned comment. So make sure to check it out if there is something wrong. Can sometimes happen when, when I get uh, information early. So make sure to check it out. And as soon as I, as I have the pre-order link, I will also put it in the description and the first pin comment. So now, everybody, please leave a comment. What do you think? Are you interested or not? Yeah, write it in the comments below. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.